find your stuff with CD Finder. The whole purpose of CD Finder is to find and locate your digital photos, movies, songs and other files, regardless of where they are actually stored. To help you with that, there are plenty of ways to find your files. The first one is located right in the main window, called Quick Find. Type in what you're looking for. In this example, we search for Supertramp. Hit Return and CD Finder shows you everything it knows about this famous pop band. As you see, this includes songs, photos and other items. Did you notice that CD Finder even found items that don't have the term Supertramp in their name? That is because Quick Find searches all fields in the database. In this case, the MP3 tags of the song file contained the band name in the artist field. If you need more control over what CD find, finds for you, the Find window is the place to go. Here you can set up the parameters for any query that CD Finder can handle. First, in this menu, you define in which catalogs CD Finder will search, either in all of them, or in those with a particular label, or in any selected catalog, or just the already found items, or even the catalog info. Then you set up what you're looking for. Any text contains is essentially the same as the quick find. So let's get fancy. Tell CD Finder we only wish to see photos in our result. Set the kind is picture. And here we go. Lots of concert photos of Roger Hutchinson, the founder of Supertramp. Okay. Switch back the kind to song. It will go will only get music as the result here. Some of my song files even already have cover art and lyrics. CD Finder catalogs it all. Then change the type to picture again. And in the first parameter, tell it to find IPTC, caption contains Arizona. And surprisingly, we see photos taken in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. But the inspector quickly tells us that this is the memorial of the battleship Arizona. Aha. Do yourself a favor and look at all the fine parameters that CD Finder offers for you. There are file name related options and anything you need for photos and IPTC. See, you can search precisely for every parameter. EXIF, important camera related stuff. And plenty of stuff for audio. And all the MP3 tags are here. And even this, the duration for songs and video. And much more. And since you can have up to 16 parameters in a single query, you will definitely be able to build the most intricate queries ever. One especially mighty option is the path parameter, as that allows you to find any items located in a certain folder or in their subfolders. Combined with other parameters, that is very helpful in locating files of the particular client, for example. And as a special tree, CD Finder even searches the Spotlight database of local files for you if you wish. So you get the best of both worlds in one place. But that wasn't all, there is more. Use the context menu for any file and you get a whole set of custom find options to locate similar items. For photos, that find context menu contains items about creation dates, names, IPTC data, EXIF information, and of course the geotags. For songs, we have final entries for the song name and the creation date, of course, and also the mp3 tags for the artist, album, different songs or composer items. That allows you to quickly search for related materials in CD Finder. Now, what can you do with the found items? Well, simply drag a photo from CD Finder into Apple's Pages or Microsoft Office or Adobe InDesign or whatever to place it in the current document. There you go. Or just drag it into the finder to copy the file to that location. Or just hit the space bar in Leopard to open the quick look window for the file if it is currently online. That works for photos. 
and for songs as well. Or you can export all geotagged photos as a KMZ file for Google Earth. There you go. Or you could reveal the file in Finder or upload the photos to the Locker community. You get the picture. And that wasn't even all. CD Finder can launch a find operation by using Apple Script. So you can, for example, access your CD Finder catalogs from a FileMaker database. And there is a sample database coming with CD Finder that shows you that. Also, CD Finder understands several URL query commands. Just click on one of the special links next to this video as an example. CD Finder, the search is over.